supposed to be? Well, we do it this way. Let's go play. You're missing your ears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are they straight? They're straight, and we're also live. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're still building that thing. <laughs> Good morning, my tanukis. Um, Sorry about that. This is a little gift from, um, from Tinkering Paws. They... they Sent this to us a couple of months, uh, a couple of videos ago from a different um, a, uh, game insert that we did for them. And it's a nice little cube piece, 3D printed. You have to use all these pieces to make a three by three cube. Um, I've been knocking, rocking, rocking my mind off of it, trying to figure it out. Uh, and then the last one we did, which is the video for this, is this one. It's the ATST. ATST. Oh, ATAT. Walker. Walker. But mind you, it wasn't like this. It was like in spruce. So, yeah. That's a nice gift from them. And they had it comes with a little small um, ADB snow speeder. speeder. I know it's hard to tell. But yeah. Anyways, what are we doing? We are in Night City. Good, e uh, good morning, Chumbas. 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 Why do I want to say, want to say Goombas? Goombas, wrong, 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 <laughs> wrong game. Wrong game. Anyways, this is, as you can see here, and by the title, this is the insert, um, game insert for Cyberpunk. And you will see all of this fit into one box. Yes, it will fit into one box. It is by uh, our, our favorite friends in Germany, um, Tinkering Paws. Thank you very much for doing this. This is very cool. I cannot believe they have, they must have some sort of, uh, um, Doctor Who Magic. Yes, uh, Time Lord technology to fit everything here into this one box. So what do you need is this. Oh, that missed. There we go. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's just this. Just this box. And mind you, this only will fit in the exclusive edition box that you get for um, Kickstarter. for kickstarting. And I am going to start with a... Um, with the question that I that was answered in asked in their YouTube video uh, about the game, um, there will be a link for that later. And to um, underneath is that it is there a way to put the boards last? I did it last night. Okay, I I did it both ways. They did, I did it their way, where it's um, step one and two. You put the boards in first. But then as I'm putting on everything else, it just doesn't feel right to me. You know, you could do it their way. Um, you, you could follow their instruction on doing it. What I did is skipped from one to two. I went straight to three and putting in the... Um, the insert, pretty much. The insert first and then put in the last bit of it. Either or, um, I fit it both ways. I actually like the way I did it because I could get to the board faster and I could set up the board faster instead of pulling everything out and getting to the bottom, which is the board. This way I could get the game started uh, faster. But like I said, you could um, do it their way. And then um, if you guys want to, skip the third step of that and then go back uh, to two and one uh, steps of putting it away. So this is how I did it. If you guys can, I know. I know. If there's enough, um, if people want to ask, you can ask me. Now show you how I did it doing the other way. So it's, e it's also easier because then it leaves a little hinge right here. So here's the um, the instruction manual. Here's the main board. There's a hinge here where I could grab the board easily. And then here is the motor pool um, expansion set, which is snug right here. I put it here. For a reason because then it's leveled with this um insert here as well as the um the storyline netrunner activation board which again levels um makes it level with this insert here and then the bottom part as you can see is the outcast board set which is an l shape which goes right here again making it so that it's leveled so when you put in the box when you put in the top, the the main board, everything's leveled out. That's me. 
this is actually the same way as they did it um, in their uh, in their instruction and their videos. But then here's the rest of them. So you start off with all the gangs on the side. So you can see, so it all just slides right here, which is pretty cool. Um, we don't we don't have any sleeves yet for the cards, but if you do, there's enough room to put everything else in here. I myself actually like. There's actually these three store sorters for stories, uh, fixers, and um, scavenger um, opportunity cards. I actually left that with the modules, so I don't have to go looking for them later. So when I play the modules of scavengers and all the other ones, it just is right there with the modules. In the front is the starting combat cards, the rest of the combat cards, um, uh, net edge runner cards. Yes, in this version of, uh, of this game, not the retail version, we have 43 edge runners instead of 10. Uh, it's a lot of dudes. That's a lot of guys, including um, Johnny Silverhand. Opportunities, as well as um, uh, single player um, cards. They're all like rare. They're all like spaced out with this little spacer thingy. They're actually pretty cool because they actually this actually comes with the game with the insert. And then here's the motor pool cards as well as uh, motor pool uh, figurines as well as the trauma docs in the back. You actually have to follow the instructions on how to put this in correctly. Because I was just trying to figure out how to put in the trauma docs without it falling apart. Anyways. I figured that out. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the snacking helps. The snack Tanuki was smart enough. And then the, here comes the turn sequence. These are the bigger card ones. So here's the turn summary cards. As well as the stories. Like I said, I, with the stories, I put all the cards with it. So all I have to do is grab all the story cards, including the cards in the back. So they're all together. Modules, same thing. I did the same thing. There's modules back here. The scavenger modules, the other, the motor pool modules, the fixer modules are all in there with their cards. It's for the modules. Anyways, um, oh, that's the Night City Tour ones. Like the Night City Tours has um, our own. Uh, there are certain Night City Tour missions that require certain a uh, certain um, expansion. So I put that back there with their inspections. expansions. Expansions. I can't talk right now. It's too early in the morning. I haven't gotten coffee yet. Anyways, and Bring here are all the drones. You had coffee. Yeah, that was fun trying to figure out how they put them in. Uh, here are all 43 <laughs> edge runners. There is a way to do all of them. There's Brandon. Brandon, yeah. The vending machine. The vending machine. So that's all 43 of them. Um, oops. Oi, careful. Someone got caught. Uh, these are the fixers. And these are the edge engrams, engrams which is another extra expansion car um, base. So when usually when you do when you do a um, tinker pot, you think it will go this way. No, it actually goes this way. It's actually pretty cool. It saves a lot of space. It does. Here are the four faction with only one or zero base. See, I these guess. are the smaller faction. These are the mocks. Um, these are the uh, I believe the angering engines or something. Um, these are the not the scavengers. So um, they actually have their names on their base on the thing on this. It's just that it's like right here. So these are and I can't see because it's you know the light. Aha! So this one actually oh all right the rates there it is. <laughs> the rates actually have raid tokens, so the raid tokens goes right there. Pretty cool. And then these are the scavengers, which has no base whatsoever. But again, they have their names on the side here. And then again, it's not this way. It's actually put it up on the small side, not the long side. Unlike its bigger sets. Oh, here are the tokens. There's the time tokens. There's the um, X out tokens. Here are the motor pool tokens. Here are all the money. Sorry, the credits or the resources for the game, the dice. All that fits in there. Here are your um, action tokens and other other miscellaneous, miscellaneous um, mission uh, tokens are right here, as well as the single player, I believe this is a single player uh, um, token, that which just fits right on top of it. It looks really nice. Also, I did test it on both versions. 
of how I put away the game, this game will sit up straight, standing, and you can put it in the calyx. Vertical storage? Vertical storage. You can do it both ways. Um, like I said, you can do it both ways, my way or their way. They will fit no matter what. Here are the Tiger Claws. Fashion. They're bigger because of the, they have headquarters. Unlike the smaller ones, only have either one or two. Or um, none. Or none. Or just one. Um, these are the the Maelstrom. As you can see, there there are special ways to put away these um, headquarters. I actually figured out myself without watching the video. But watching the video actually does tell you how to do it correctly. Much more easier instead of me taking about 20 minutes for each one. Um, as you can see, all my guys have to set in the right spot. But the way you put them away and also they did improve on a lot of things i love it before with the um, with figures like this when you're putting them in they're kind of like flimsy and taking them out also kind of flimsy now it's just slide in slide out so yeah that's a square okay fine octagon slide in slide out so you just slide it in just make sure there's no feet in the way okay fine hexagon Slide in, slide out. I'm not even gonna drive with the circle one. Circle ones, you should know. It's gonna fit no matter what. Here's the animals, the other, the six faction with um, four headquarters. Uh, my, um, these are the Buddha boys, the Sixth Street Gang. Again, bases and bats and this guy, you know, they go, they go in and out. Like I said, this makes it much more easier to just grab your faction, pull it out, and then grab these and pull that out. And then here are the rest of these guys. The Valentinos. The Valentinos. The the these futuristic um um Mexican or Latino mafia. So whatever. So they their 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 headquarters are actually really cool. It looks like a apartment buildings. Apartment buildings. And then once you get that, once you get everything, then you just by using the same colors, take all their tokens. And they put away the same way. You just put them in, in their own token. So you basically, as in this case, Voodoo Boys. Voodoo Boys, that's it. That's all you do. You don't have to take out anything out of anywhere. Um, don't have to deal with a flimsy um, case for each character. You, have, you, have, you know how you have to put it in, in certain ways. No, this one, you just push it all in. It actually tells you which, at the bottom of this, you'll see... Um, down here, once you get it, they'll say which uh, class it would be oh. by the shape of their base at the bottom. You'll see it. Trust me. Um, these have to be pushed up, put away um, in a certain way where this big corner corner is up to the top right hand corner. This is my right. So, but then this fits everything. All the um, tokens, tokens, the circle bases, the large circle bases, the uh, drone tokens um, bases. So um, there is a gripe about that for, I do have a gripe for um, Simon. Why did you make only four types of drones when you can play this up to five players? That means that at least one player with one, uh, one of each type of drone, <laughs> which is kind of dumb, but it's kind of cool, whatever. So and then, and then if you push it back, like I said, the, um, when they, uh, when they, you were following Simon, um, Tinker pause instructions. You do it. You put the boards in first this way, like I had in the top. Then put the, the token, the player tokens, player tokens yeah. in there, and each one at the bottom of each um uh thing here will have a T or an M. They label Isn't, all their. They label their stuff. I don't know if you can see it. They actually have their ah. The dudes are falling out. Yeah, because they're, they're very loose, which is, I, I like it, but then it does, yeah, as you, you guys can see, it actually has M3, M2, yeah. and it has their, their, their logo on it, the green paws on it, which is pretty cool. So when you put it back together, once you get everything set out and set, put everything back together, um, uh, all the bases back and put it away, you know, it's not going to be all over the place. To put it back together, you start off with the, like I said, the miniatures. This is how I'm doing it. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. Like again, uh, do uh, try doing printing and pause the way they're doing it. I'm putting it away. Then, if you like it, cool. If you don't, try mine. So, 
First, player tokens. Then you grab the the fashions. These drugs are pretty much the same. We just skip steps one and two. And we put it at, at the bottom. At the at the end. So this is basically to step three. Here's step four, which is I'm putting away the starting with the fashion with the bigger um with the uh, bigger trays. Bigger trays, which is the ones with four um headquarters. Well these are the main factions anyways. Mm, the animals is not. No, it's not. It's actually part of the um, expansion. uh gang wars. So expansion. four plus five. Five plus one. Plus one. Remember, the retail edition only gives you four. This edition gives me five. Which is the max players. So there's the Valentinos. And then once that's done, where is it? Ah, gang sheets goes on top over here. Nice and comfy. Nice and comfy. I actually push it all the way down. So I had, again, you'll see it. I have a way to pick up the board from here. Next, you put away the the engrams, which is these two back here. This has a lot of room for extra stuff. So if if Simon does make an expansion, yeah, this will give us more room. So as you can see, there's more room. A couple more dudes. For a couple more dudes. I don't know if they're gonna make um one for more edge runners. They should because yeah, they just they just added a new character which uh, it just elbow on it. So edge runners, fixers, and engrams. Okay. Um, token set for the resources goes in here. Other token sets goes in here. Then we start with the, the smaller faction based ones. So again, they go this way. Oops. Not, not long ways, but this way, which the uh, short end, but the bottom. They're going to be fitting nice and snug. Oops, I did that backwards. <laughs> yes, I have a. I ha there. There is a thing to my madness. Oh, did I do that right? Oh no, no, no. that's why. Right, because I'm doing this the other way, the long way. There, there we go. I was doing that one the long way. Like I said, it's kind of very hard to figure out which is the long way until you actually see where you need to go. So the easiest way to see is if you're ah, there we go. that way. Because see, you'll see why I'm doing it. They do it this way because you see the spot here, this big spot. That's where the motor pool goes. If you have the other way, this 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 uh, insert will not fit there. Then you put this. Mind the engrams heads or the edge runners heads. Then again, actually this one actually has a little hold thing you can grab from here. This one does not. And then again, I haven't sleeved yet or. If you do, there is an another one, so you could go across. I don't know if I want to sleeve these. I might because they're they're kind of much more easier. I just have to figure out how many I have to sleeve in clear sleeves, and then last but not least, drums. Drums. So now you have this is taller than these things. That's when this comes in to play. So you see, push it all the way to the dot, to the side here and to the side here to make that little L shape. You take the small part here, which is the undergrad, and then you put this. Now it's based um, even out up here. Put the story um, net runner activation, which makes this flush right here. That gives it so that this end and that end is now the same side, same height, leaving this open. That's fine. Put this here again. That's why you get this. That's why you put this all the way down the uh, gang sheets all the way down so you can grab this easily hopefully we just one swipe but whatever and then mr starting manual lid and again i don't want to i like to stress this enough this will only fit the exclusive box and yes 
If you have it like this, it will stay. Everything will stay in the game, okay? There's not a lot of lift to it. That's fine. As you can see, this thing will add a couple um, grams or ounces to the weight, but it is a great insert. And again, thank you again, Tinkering Paws, for making this insert, making our lives much more easier, making the game much easier to transport in just one box with seven um, expansions to go with it. And that's me tonight, uh, today, guys. I'll see you guys later. Uh, again, thank you again for Tinkering Paws. And see you guys next time. Peace and uh, pause unite.